Welcome to another episode of the Small Member Squad Podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Ike Platinum. We also have Young Left. Yo, 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 what it do? You know, we out here vibing and chilling. <laughs> and we have Brad. What was up, everybody? No Tanner this week. He's too busy chilling and grilling. You He's know how it's be when you're grilling. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I did that for lunch. We do the grill side podcast. We do we we have an episode where we just film it alongside a grill. Yeah, can we do that but you make some burgers again? <laughs> oh. Yeah. Dude, I could do that on the griddle. That Hell stuff yeah. smacks. Dude, Austin makes a mean burger, I'll say that. <laughs> it's the only thing I can make on the grill. <laughs> <laughs> that and brats. dogs are pretty good too yeah i'll be honest <laughs> brats slept too but i'm also just a fan of meat in general like anything grilled i'm kind of just fuck with like it kind of mm-hmm. just bang like I, it's just a dude thing is it yeah, though I mean, I <laughs> is it just a dude thing to enjoy grilled meat I don't, maybe I don't fuck probably not, dude. Most people probably enjoy some fucking nice meat in their mouth. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Sound like, off in the comments. Unless you're like a vegan or something, or yeah, like, fuck vegans. No, I'm kidding. True, dude. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> fuck that shit. Oh, I can't it was wait to eat cockroach <laughs> meat, baby. Mm, dude, yeah. it was so funny. Um. So in my college one time, I was sitting in like the commons area, like a table of people. And I was like, I was, I had pulled out a bag of beef jerky that I just had in my backpack. I was like, you want some beef jerky? And she's like, nah, I'm vegan. I'm like, all right, more for me. Mm. And you wonder why you're a virgin. (laughs) (laughs) I'm just fucking around. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> the oh. next question he asked as he stuffed his mouth full of jerky was hey uh <laughs> do you happen Wanna to know smash? a boyfriend free born a boyfriendless free girl <laughs> <laughs> might be looking to try to take some virginity <laughs> uh. god damn it man uh, that's awesome though I still remember the time we got you so fucked up that you don't even remember buying beef jerky, and then we ate it on the couch <laughs> next to you. Yeah, like, I was, like, oh I God. was so fucked. <laughs> that was a good night. That was a pretty fun time. Yeah, I'll be honest. <laughs> I felt like um, so you know Doctor Strange, the uh, the first no the first one. Where um he goes through uh it's like when he first meets the the ancient one, he gets yes. put through this like really psychedelic trip. I felt like I like that as I was like passing out. I was just like, out. I'm still sleeping my body. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude! Good movie. I can't wait to go see the second one. Uh, mm mm-hmm. Boyfriend. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Right. Hopefully, by the time this next podcast goes up, we'll see it. I mean, yeah. And then we're, we're going to spoil the whole movie. We're going to talk all <laughs> about it. Yeah, Boy, you guys better better watch it for episode number 91 because we're going to come go into a review. Yeah, review we do that episode. After every Shit, guess who's not going to be here, though? <laughs> hey, well, Brad. Fred, you just gotta see it. You got a come whole week. Your... Yeah, come I see know. the movie with us. That's all. It might not be a thing. Depends on what time you guys are going. Sunday. I don't know if we'll make it there. Sunday. Going on Sunday. Yeah, yeah. That might be a thing. Oh, shit. Okay. Also, Zach, your mic's quiet. We can't hear you. Ah, he uh, he, he, he gotta gargle it. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> well, I'll just deep throw my it's dick good now. then. It's good. <laughs> but <laughs> all I'm saying is, is like that shit's gonna be lit. 
And it ain't no fucking shitty Morbius either. Did you guys know that shit was part of the Spider-Man universe? Was it? Yeah. Weird. It's done by Sony and shit. <laughs> That's what <laughs> I'm so saying. That open that open theory. Okay. That's fucking weird. That movie's kind of whack, but I'm hoping this one's decent. I liked the first Doctor Strange a lot, so I'll probably enjoy this one. I did too. It was cool. Is the cable coming unplugged from the mic? Mm, maybe. It is probably a pretty loose, yeah. It, it sounded yeah, like um, it. it was like you were rubbing something against it slightly as yeah, you were talking. It's weird. <laughs> uh, tech problems. Ah, yeah. uh, we can't yeah, hear him at all now. <laughs> oh, hey, uh, that there. just happens with my mic sometimes. It's kind of fucking retarded. So, like, if I touch the dial the wrong way, like, if I, like, slightly move it too much, it just completely cuts off no matter where it is, and then I gotta <laughs> get it in the right position again. Oh, my God. <laughs> So it's a little scuffed, but you know, we make it fucking work out here. <laughs> yep. It'd be like that sometimes, though. No. Hey, I'm fine with it, dude. We rock it. Have you guys, so, uh, have you guys watched the Forever Purge yet? No. I have really you, don't I want to. I haven't seen any of the Purge movies. It is really weird. I think I've oh, only seen the I second one. And I didn't really like it. <laughs> Maybe it was because I didn't see the first one, but... <laughs> you know, <laughs> no. Long story short, it's all about 12 hours of killing. The yeah. Brothers took it past that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a lot of crazy stuff. They made it look really realistic as they could. Nice. Yeah, I like that type of shit. I like that, like, especially... <sighs> I like movies like that, when they do shit like that, just make it look real as fuck. Mm -hmm, One of my yeah. favorites, for example, is uh, Mad Max. Uh, mm, banging movie. Mm -hmm. Yes. You guys fuck with the, the original at all? I haven't seen the original. I've oh, seen dude, bits and pieces of the original. I haven't fully watched it. Dude, it's a fucking snooze fest, but the <laughs> second one's way better. I slept through the first one, and I still got the, I, like, woke up, and I, like, knew exactly what was happening and shit. I was like, damn, we're still on this, <laughs> We're still on oh. this, bro. I was like, God, how, how far can one man bike across New Zealand? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're on it, like, ten miles an hour, you can do it pretty quick. They're pretty slow. <laughs> True. <laughs> oh, we got I've only topics seen, this week? Uh, Fury Road was the only one that yeah, I've I, seen. That's a good one. Keep it that way. That's hmm. a really good one. The Thunderdome kind of slaps, though, so. Can't Welcome go wrong. to the Thunderdome. Yes, yeah, sir. That's like one of my favorite, like, shitty, like, movies. That and Evil Dead. Like, Evil Dead is like the shitty horror movie that filmed on an ass budget, but it looks so fucking f good. <laughs> mm -hmm, oh, mm -hmm. I love that movie. <laughs> <laughs> I, Personal it's, it's, favorite. I love it, seeing the, the extremely low-budget movies that just explode and are super successful, because it's so funny seeing some of the effects that they try to go for. It's like, man, you had just, a, like, a little bit more of a budget to spend on this, you know, a little bit better, more time. Yeah, like 100,000 so. there, 300,000 there. Yeah, it just makes it more special, though. I like it a lot more. Mm hmm Or, like, like I special. like hearing about how they film stuff. So, like, in oh, the yeah. um, Blood Simple, the first movie, major movie by the Coen brothers, um, the opening scene was, like, a or like the opening credits was a car driving on the highway at night. So they, um, <laughs> they, they actually had a, uh, car in the garage and they were like pouring like buckets of water on it to simulate the rain. And they would occasionally flash like these lights on the up and then make them get closer and past the car. 
and stuff Hell like that. Yeah. I'm like, I like hearing about how they film this stuff. So True. I, I don't know if anyone's heard the backstory around the original Halloween movie that Josh Carpenter did, but their budget was only three hundred and twenty-five grand. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, that was. Oh, sorry. Oh yeah, keep going. No, keep going. Okay. So, and what they pulled in and raked after was forty-seven million U.S. and twenty-three million foreign. <laughs> they, they, yeah, they, that's a profit. That's a big profit. Yeah, uh, what I was just going to say was, like, especially with a lot of those early horror movies, was, like, their budgets were really small. It was mostly just, like, one dude that was dedicated to it. And one of my favorite examples of that is fucking uh, Night of the Living Dead. Uh, (laughs) The house that they filmed in uh, was going to be, like, taken down within, like, the end of the month or whatever. So they just fucking, they just filmed at this house, and then at the end of the month it was just taken down, so they just got to use that shit for free. Hell but yeah. God. You know, we take those, dog. We fucking take those. Oh, uh, have you guys ever, like, destroyed a house? Like, yeah, man. You know what I'm Godzilla? A <laughs> few. <laughs> No, I haven't. It, actually. It's so fun. It's so fun. Like if you if you have a if you ever get a chance and you know that a house is gonna get taken down, you can just like destroy it, or you get a chance to go to like a, one of those smash rooms. That shit's so much fun. But I, I do like want to do one of those. What I feel like in the Byron area, there's an axe throwing place too. Hell yeah! That still sounds cool. So I would go to mm-hmm. axe throwing. It's fun. Um, yeah, uh, we had a, uh, a Christmas party for work one year. We went to, uh, an axe throwing place where Zach oh, nice. is. Yes, sir. Nope. They actually now it have, uh, like, like, like an arcade or something, like a gaming area arcade down below in the basement. And no, I kind of want to go just for that reason because I love arcades, but I haven't seen that part of it yet. I really want to. I've been they, excited to X starting to not the arcade. They they just recently, like within the last year, you know, got it up and going. Yeah, I love a nice arcade. Yeah, yes, everyone. Cool. What's your guys' favorite arcade yeah. game? <laughs> like, I have a couple. I used to travel specifically down to Madison like every weekend w- with one of my buddies to go down to Geeks Mania. And this was like when they first opened or whatever, so everything was like quarter and shit. So I would love grinding DDR, but that shit cost a dollar and shit. But hmm. DDR is my shit. Like, I... that in House of the Dead? Oh my god. I do not have a specific arcade game that I. <clears throat> I like over any other one. I still, I, I still think the Galactica, and then I think Rampage was another one too. Hmm. Yeah, really good games, hell yeah. Um, not that far away from where I work down there too. There's a old pizza joint that's actually like half. Well, I know which place you're talking about. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Brad died. Yeah, Brad's died. Rip He's Brad. dead. S rest in peace. <laughs> but I knew the place you was talking about. I've actually been there before. It's pretty fucking lit, dude. I'll be honest. It has some good ass pizza and a pretty decent games as well. I'm actually kind of surprised that they haven't made a uh, a VR uh, rampage game. Oh, okay. Now you're giving people ideas. Actually, I'm pretty sure there is. Is there? Where no, you control I'm giant sure kaijus or some shit. Yeah. I, I could, or maybe you, like you control a giant monster or some shit. I know there's like something similar to it, but like nothing oh, yeah. like Project exactly Ra- Rampage. Project Rampage yeah, Project VR. Rampage VR. Oh, hell <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's one on the Steam community called Rampage VR 2. I think that's just a movie, though, that they <laughs> made for VR. <laughs> they, oh, so, so, do you guys know the, um, I, I think it was called Rampage, with, uh... The, yeah, um, the three characters. Dwayne oh, Rock yeah, Johnson. the movie. Yeah. yeah. 
It was Wait, like, is that the movie on no, Steam? No, no. There's someone. There's someone who uploaded a video to YouTube, and they took like a a screenshot of the giant monkey in that movie, and slapped a PNG HTC Vive headset on it on the <laughs> giant monkey. <laughs> Hell yeah, he do be gaming. <laughs> <laughs> giant monkey VR. Ooh. <laughs> that shit sounds pretty lit. I'll be honest. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, Project Rampage VR has been out for like four years now on Steam. Hmm. I have. It's actually oh. like here. That's what I thought, but I wasn't like 100% sure. Uh, but hell yeah, I love me some good old VR. I've been recently playing uh, Resident Evil 4, dude. That game's fucking lit on VR. Was that Village? No, 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 no. No, no, no. It's specifically Resident Evil 4 with Leon Kennedy and the Chainsaw Man. Oh, okay. Yeah, you gotta go save the president's daughter. You know, the one Austin's played, right? I know you're a big Resident what? Evil fan, man. Yeah, totally. I Yeah, you played all of them. <laughs> especially mm -hmm. Code Veronica, the best one. What? Any... Oh, don't worry, that's only <laughs> a really shit one for the PlayStation 1. I played yeah. a, a little bit of, uh, what was it, 7? I think it was Resident Evil 7. Mm, yeah, pretty good one. Pretty good one. He, dude, he's, I love in that game, his hand get Okay. His hand gets cut off, and he replaces it. with He just, like, fucking, you know, the video game logic, just pour shit on it or whatever. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that it magically fixes back. his hand. Yeah. Isn't that Biohazard? <laughs> Yeah, that was Biohazard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They all, I think that one has a VR mode as well. <laughs> uh, probably, I yeah. It. But the thing is, I have it on the um, on the Xbox store. Mm -hmm. I don't think yeah. that that has VR support. Can I get a written <laughs> chat for that one? Or nothing yeah. chat? <laughs> hey, man, it'd be like that. Well, I mean, I bought it on Xbox way back you know years Hell ago yeah. so the fact that i don't have to repurchase it on pc i'm fine with <laughs> very true dude very true and you know, i finally got my ea account linked with my game pass so now i can oh my gosh i fucking hate ea yeah it's <laughs> awful <laughs> right the it actually nice. do you guys okay let me let me let me preface this do either of you have any games on Origin? Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's so bad because the two softwares do not work together. They do not work side I know. by side. I fucking know that because I uninstalled Origin. I only use the beta <laughs> one now. <laughs> Fuck Origin. It's so stupid. Uh, that's also the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Why can't they work together? What is the problem with me launching two of your fucking programs? What's the yeah. worst that's gonna happen? It's so dumb because like I have to, I have certain games that I have through the Game Pass on uh, like the, the the beta one, and then I have like one or two games on the actual Origin. <laughs> mm. It's so dumb, so annoying. Oh, I think that I also have okay. some games on. Um, I have some games on Steam that launch through Origin. <laughs> so I have like Steam and Origin, and then I have uh, Xbox Game Pass and the uh, EA program. Yep. It's so stupid. Hate it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All I'm saying is the golden age of gaming was like the 360 and the PS3. The PS2 is still lit too, because that's where the online stuff started coming into play for so I'm not, I'm not saying it wasn't bad. Oh, dude, I had LAN parties with my fucking original Xbox and shit. Taking that shit over to the homie's house, plugging them all fucking together, <laughs> plugging that's six of them together. It was CRTs and shit. Oh, the best. <laughs> Just grind in Halo 2, dude. Oh my god, that was the shit. Oh, from my my childhood, we um 
<laughs> we did have a lot of money. So it was like we were the, the one household in the neighborhood that had a PlayStation 2. So we had our, our friends come over and we'd play four player Shrek games. <laughs> that sounds fucking awful. <laughs> I'm just it was, kidding. It was Hell fun. yeah. We played Shrek oh, Super Slam quite a bit. Quite a bit. And the and the the, the storyline Shrek games. You know what's funny about Shrek Super Slam? Hmm. Is that I've competed in one of the t- biggest tournaments in Wisconsin for that game, and I've only <laughs> oh. entered one tournament. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, <laughs> it was at the <laughs> August monthly. And I I ended up placing pretty well too. I think I got on the top 100 or some shit from that one ranking. So, <laughs> you know, we out here. Uh, a good friend of ours though was pretty high ranked because he won a tournament. A uh, good old meerkat. I was gonna say meerkat, right? Yeah. He fucking won a he he won the Shrek Fest tourney. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, he's a gamer. I'll give him that. <laughs> I bring my I bring my laptop with me to our on our trip, and I download a Shrek Two emulator or a Shrek Super Slam <laughs> emulator. Dude, uh, um, <laughs> just you and me at fucking one thirty in the morning playing Shrek Super Slam on the bus. <laughs> you know what would be more fun than that? You set up melee, dog. We just run it up, <laughs> brother. Uh, we, <laughs> or I guess we could play this shitty game Ultimate. But I'd be down for anything. I think though, I got some movies I plan on showing too. You know, we could just throw them up or whatever. Oh, yeah. Should be nice. Well, I'm not. I'm I'd... not planning on bringing my laptop, but good. Yeah, because yeah. that's a lot of shit. Oh, I can't wait for that trip though. It's mm. gonna be a lot of fucking fun. Like, <laughs> oh, twenty twenty two is my year of firsts. <laughs> mm. Maybe sex too. Maybe we'll see. Only yes, time we will, will see. Time will tell, but it's a mysterious thing that time. Oh. But I want to go back to something. I meant to put it down on the topics list. But is it just me or the gaming has become stale? Like, at least at, like, some point, like, games had to be somewhat dynamic in, like, what they were doing. Like, COD was, like, the fast pace, you know, like, killstreaks galore shit. Mm Mm-hmm. And then fucking Battlefield had the dynamic maps and just giant fucking shit. big scale battles and that kind of stuff. Yeah. I go to And then you had Halo and shit with the arena warfare. The arcade shooter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And now everything just feels the fucking same. Yep. 100%. Nothing feels fucking different at this point. Halo feels like, like Call of Duty. <laughs> hey. I don't know. Infinite's like I I will never defend that game. It's cause it's fucking dog shit. It's been almost two years since they've released it, and we still don't have Forge. Do you remember when a game Dude, fucking released back in the day, honestly, and it had Forge, co-op campaign, fucking multiplayer, and fucking honestly, theater mode like, and shit? It's, it's so easy. Out. Yeah. It would be so easy a year, so. for Bungie to come out with literally an infinite amount of content if they would literally just release Forge. And yeah, see, it's not Bungie, match. though. It's fucking 343, the shittiest fucking studio out of Microsoft. Dude, imagine all the other fucking studios that Microsoft has, and they come out and they're like, hey, we had a great year, you know? Like, Microsoft Flight Simulator team is like, oh yeah, we coded the entire fucking map into a game and shit, and Halo Infinite's like, hey, we got multiplayer out (laughs) in the campaign. (laughs) Hey, we got new skins. (laughs) Yeah, it's fucking bad, dude. I think they're finally coming out with new maps. uh, They're in the game already, and they're fucking ass cheeks. There's two new maps, and they're both fucking dog shit. (laughs) Like, I don't fucking get how they keep making it worse. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, They're like, 
almost on par with Game Freak level lazy, dude. It's so fucking sad. Oh. <laughs> I, I don't know why I blanked so much. I'm like, Game Freak, what the fuck? Who, what did they make? I'm like, oh, and I was like, oh, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> they are my what childhood. Have they made for, <laughs> what have they made for the last goddamn 20 years? <laughs> Do they make anything other than Pokemon? Nope. No. Not. No. They have, like, literally the fucking, like, balls on Pokemon. And it's one of the highest grossing fucking things ever, so why the fuck would they let it go? Well, <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> oh, one of the things they've always done is they release two games side by side that are identical other than... There are certain One legendary creatures. No, certain creatures oh, are locked yes, to sorry. each version of the game, including you know the the legendary and the box art. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I always forget about the exclusives and shit. I never cared about them too much, but like that shit was always the most fucking annoying because if you were someone that wanted to complete the Pokedex and shit, it's like, well, I ha you tell me I have to make friends. You, you have tell to me get I have to find that, someone else that, that has, has the, the other, other copy, copy of the game. Yep. What happens if he has the same copy as me? Then I'm just fucked there. Yep. Ah, oh, damn, what a shitty fucking concept, huh? Or what you could do is you could buy two DSs, two Switches, whatever, and two, oh, yeah, one copy of each and just trade them across. <laughs> God, if you're a goddamn cringe lord, you do that. No, oh, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> I don't get it, man. <laughs> like, maybe back in the day when I was into Pokemon, I could see it, but there's no way I could keep doing that shit now with, like, games being as expensive as they are. <laughs> so, you want to know what's kind of funny that I just realized? Um, uh -huh. So, growing up, I would, um, I would try to complete the Pokedex in Pokemon Sapphire. Oh, same. And, and I did not know that there was Pokemon to, you know, version lock to Ruby. <laughs> same. I didn't know that <laughs> shit either. <laughs> it, it's crazy, huh, to think back on that shit. Mm hmm. God, what a fucking good game Sapphire was, though. True. When you beat your dad in the fourth gym, that was the <laughs> hardest thing for me. That yeah. goddamn. I remember Lacking. when I was when I was younger, he would he would just fucking stomp my ass. He would just like I would get up there, I would I would have no problem with all of the guys leading up to him. That's get up I'm there, saying. that slot slot what was him the the, the, the one that's like king, yeah lay down posed you know yeah he's the big fat motherfucker yeah mm -hmm. just fucking one hits every one of my guys every single that's what time. i was saying and like anytime i'd hit him like nothing and then you had to deal with the zanzagoon after dude it was a mm -hmm. brutal fight for the first like for oh, fourth gym fucking zanzagoon's slice attack right as soon as you get through it you're the like slice. yes yes i've done it and the then... zanzagoon comes out <laughs> how's it going motherfucker <laughs> That's a real chin check. That's all I'll say. But I remember the rest of the game being pretty easy after that. Mm -hmm. Like, I breezed through the Elite Four and shit. Yeah. Except for, I, I always had a problem with the dragon guy for the Elite Four. Uh, true. He was a bit annoying, yeah. <laughs> or no, the, um, the Steven, the champion with his steel-type Pokemon. Oh. Fuck him. Dude, just... You gotta use you get use your septile. Or not septile. I was gonna say he was fainted by then. <laughs> you you never ca you didn't fucking just level him, dude. Oh dude, my oh, septile is always the beauteous. I played so much of that game that I got it down so that I could beat the Elite Four with only two Pokemon. I would use my oh, first yeah, Pokemon for the first three and and like a quarter gym or leaders or whatever and then yep. they would knock him out and i would swap out to my other guy use a full revive and then you just <laughs> no i didn't even it. i didn't even bother <laughs> oh, okay Hell yeah. I, I i had it down to so that i would one hit every single one of their pokemon basically 
love doing that shit. When, are, when you get I, a Pokemon to level 100. <laughs> I've only done that once, and that was when I played through Heart Gold. Uh, it was my fucking... Oh. What's the final evolution of Totodile? Krogonk or some shit? No. Yeah, it's for Alligator? It's for Alligator, yeah. yeah. That's the homie, dude. I got a level one hum level one hundred. <laughs> I kept a one hundred dog. Yes, sir. <laughs> I've gotten in Sapphire, I've gotten a few Pokemon level one hundred. Like I would I would get <laughs> I'd grind it. I played so much of that game. I'd grind it, get him level 100, and be like, well, time to restart. <laughs> yep. And then I didn't no, change I... my play style at all. <laughs> yes, sir. Do the exact same shit. I, uh... I did the exact same stuff, dude. That's why I think we're on the spectrum. We're definitely some autistic motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, of course I want to play Pokemon again the exact same way I just spent a hundred hours, dude. Yes, <laughs> man. Let's fucking Let's go. Let's run this shit. <laughs> Let's oh fucking God. go. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> fucking love that. <laughs> uh, if there's one thing that I can say, there's... um. Like, I've played a few of, like, the new games, but I've jumped from, like, the directly from the Game Boy to the Switch. And uh, there's definitely some quality of life upgrades that uh, I really liked. Yeah, there's a lot of shit that was changed over the years. I played it throughout, like, pretty much everything from, like, Heart Gold... And so silver to fucking black and white and X and Y. And then, like, I think I stopped after that. But all those games were pretty goddamn good. Hmm. So, especially the black and white series. Like, black and white say, 2. People say really those fucking ones good really games. good. So, is oh, the, the, it's a, it's a direct sequel to it? Is it in the same area? Same map? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll see, like, the same shit that you've seen before. Mm. All right. It's just a bit further in time. See, <laughs> I think it's I think it's kind of funny. They, um, they had, um, for the DS, they had, like, Pokemon Sun and Moon. And then... Oh, yeah. And then instead of coming out with, like, an internet update, they released a whole nother version of the game for another, you know, retail sticker price and just called it like Ultra. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, and then they did something that pissed me off. They remade Gen 3, but like included a bunch of Pokemon that wouldn't have been there. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And that's the shit. And that was like, I was like, if, all right, how the fuck are you going to remake a game? But add a bunch of Pokemon that wouldn't be in that fucking region, man. Yeah, that fucking and... pissed me off. Yeah. Uh, and once they started doing, like, the whole fucking, like, Alolan shit, I was like, this is even stupider. Like, there's yep. two versions now of this fucking Pokemon. I hate that stupid ass. How fucking... lazy do you oh. gotta fucking be? Like, you can't fucking create anything else. You're just like, what happens if we just take a Vulpix and make it... An ice type. Hmm. hmm. What happens if we take uh, Weezing and give him a fucking top hat for some goddamn reason? <laughs> Let's make Execute just super fucking tall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that shit's... Dude, he reminds me of uh, the, the, the fucking Pokemon that looks like a tree. I, I just remember him from Gen 3 and shit. Yeah, that, that's He's what like... he is. An Execute. No, 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 but there's another Pokemon that looks like a tree as well. Oh, are you talking about, like, the the giant, like, dinosaur tall Yeah, yeah the dinosaur uh, one, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It starts with a T. Can't remember what his yeah. name is, though. He wasn't ever good, so I never <laughs> caught him. But I always, he always, he looked cool. He looked cool, and he had Solar Beam, which had a cool animation on the screen. <laughs> That is very true. It lit it up. Just beep, beep. Especially at like, night. Under the covers. 
Hell yeah. <laughs> I love doing that. Just like throw the blanket over your head and just like, yeah, let me just play my Game Boy. <laughs> yes, sir, dude. Nothing will beat those classic nights, dude. Oh my god. I used to do that. I used to fucking do a lot of shiny hunting with like black and white and shit. So I'd just spend like hours. There was on the fucking daycare route or whatever, there was just a long ass road. So you could just go fucking back and forth and like I'm like 10 or so laps your egg, your eggs would hatch so you could just fucking do that for hours and shit yes, to get sir. higher chances and shit I got so many shinies that way <laughs> it is now so it's much just so fucking easy shinies, dude. Ah, that's what pisses me off dude I've worked <laughs> my ass off and now you I get want it, it to be a, I want it to be a 1 in 4096 chance come on man it was so special when you found it, though. Yeah. Like, dude, did you guys... At, all right. I remember on my friend's account once, <laughs> I found a golden Machomp, but I didn't have any fucking Pokeballs for it. All right. So let me tell you this. There was a time I was playing Pokemon Sapphire, and uh, I loaded the game up, and I start running on this path, and... I get this Pokemon encounter and it, it does this weird animation after it gets up. I'm like, what the fuck was that? I'm like, oh, well, it's just stupid Rosalina or Plusle or some shit. Just fucking one hit its ass. I'm like, all right, let's fucking move on. Later on, I found out that was a shiny. You <laughs> killed should've. a shiny Plusle? Bro. You didn't even realize that it was blue? It's like, no. man, this puzzle's <laughs> kind of looking weird. No, you I tell was, me this I ain't running, I was so I what I what I like to do. I grind a lot. I, I grind get it. No, time. I get you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it, it was probably more I so I was just it. like spamming a, and it just fucking smacked his ass out. <laughs> I remember one time one of my homies. We were just chilling. I was just watching him play. And you know at the beginning with like the Steven cutscene where he's like has to go catch that Rosalina or whatever oh, or yeah. Wally or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> that was a shiny. <laughs> I was like, oh, yo, no, he's gonna have it the rest of the game. Yo. <laughs> and you only fight him once. <laughs> <laughs> I hated uh, that character, by the way. It was so funny. If you, I like, I, I haven't actually like listened, like, gone back and read through the story on it. But I, I'm pretty sure it was just like, hey, can you take like pity hang out with this kid? <laughs> what was that? He was like, hey, my son's a loser. Go fucking t- teach him how to catch a Pokemon or some <laughs> shit. <laughs> and that's what you did. <laughs> And then you see him one other time. Yeah. (laughs) You see him like at the end of the game. He shows up. He's like, hey. Yeah, right. The road to victory or whatever. (laughs) How the fuck did you get here, man? You just caught the Rosalina. (laughs) It's a strong Rosalina, my guy. Yeah. Back when Pokemon was good. Oh, yeah, yeah, true. Back when gaming was good. I think, oh, my other topic on that was, like, gaming's become too mainstream. We need to go back to the underground. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. I Look, agree. man, it's the only way games like, are uh, going to get better. <laughs> There's too many cut. normies. Oh, okay, dude, so... Like AC event again. Real what quick, something that, something that was kind of funny with, uh, like, the Game Boy under the co- uh, covers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so... Both my my older sister and my younger brother and I all got our Game Boys at the same time, the Game Boy Advanced SPs. And um but for some reason mine was like the the upgraded version of the Game Boy. So like they would have their screen on the bright setting and it would be the same as my screen on the dim setting. Oh, so you leveled up. Yeah. Damn, so you're telling me you could play in the car 
at night without having to look through the fucking you know street lights coming down <laughs> beaming through the window to see that was still a vibe too dude that yeah. was a great vibe yeah <laughs> i'm never forgetting that too coming I'm home sorry. after a hard day of sports or whatever yeah just gaming it up yep oh. just enjoy the grind Yes, sir. Oh, you know what system I absolutely love, and I would I would love to get my hands on again, but they're really expensive. The um yeah. the Game Boy Micro. Ooh, yeah. The fuck would you want a micro for? <laughs> it's so small, dude. It's it's like the it's just like, and it's like a quarter inch longer than the Game Boy cartridge itself. It's so. I know, but you could buy a Game Boy for, like, pretty cheap. <laughs> yeah, I have a Game Boy. I get... <laughs> oh. Wait, an OG Game Boy that takes batteries and shit? I love that shit. Oh. Uh, OG, baby. I still got my Game Boy Advance SP somewhere, too. Hell yeah, I have a Game Boy Advance. And my 3DS still. One of I, these I bad boys. I think I still boys. have that one, too. I don't uh, have not, the. Oh, uh, you have the advance. I don't Hang have on, the I'll battery grab cover. As well as I also have the advanced SP, which I did a case swap so that I have this I nice have... Kyogre decal on it. My cousin actually still has his with a Pikachu cover on it. Mm -hmm. That thing was. Oh. Hey, Austin, you want to do that to mine? I have a silver what? and I have a blue one. You want to oh, do that to mine? Swap? Sure. Yeah. I also have oh look at this. This is the shit right here. Good old sapphire oh, baby. Yeah. You already know oh, I keep uh, that motherfucking thing. Oh on. yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> it, hold on, it was in mine too. <laughs> That's what I'm fucking yes, saying. <laughs> Y'all are two halves of the same people. <laughs> no sir. Oh yeah, I also like I bought this other um retroid pocket. Because I thought Ooh. it would, I wanted like a you know, a pocket size thing, and it's you know not not quite as small as I had hoped. So what is that thing actually capable of doing? Just I was gonna say, yeah. What can you play on it? Um, I've played Game Boy games on it. It it's not powerful enough to play PSP games. Um, oh, is it uh, like a glorified emulator? Yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah, it, it runs it like runs it. Android. And then oh. um, you can have it. Actually, it's a it's a dual boot operating system. So uh, one well, one side has Android, some... and the other side has um, their custom OS. Okay, fuck yeah. You run some NES games on that bad boy. Let's see some SNES games. We got. Um... Dude, if it could N64. run N64, let's see. Holy shit, wait run. a minute. If you can run N64 games, I want I have, that then. I have Mario 64 so installed. I'm not sure. I haven't tested it. I see how well it runs. I was going to say. It's interesting. It's but I know the Some PSP of them actually run, run pretty well. well. Yeah. But I, but I think I tried it at one point. Too. It didn't run too bad. I heard the fucking sound, dude, that I've heard a million times launching that game. <laughs> the N64 was one of my favorite consoles. Where's the start button? It's one of my childhood I consoles. I still have that console, too. All right, let's hey, see. Hey, Brad, if you're ever looking to sell it, dude, let a brother know. I'm actually looking to pick one up because um, they sell EverDrive cartridges of it, um, uh, fucking the, for it. And what that is, is you can just put an SD card in it. And then you can just fucking turn it into an emulator and load every fucking game on existence on there. Oh, mm -hmm. I would so love that. That's yeah. what I'm saying. See, I would, you I would, I also way. think that I'm, I would like something like that. But I, in reality, I think I would only really play like the Pokemon games. I mean, you could. I mean, I would only use it for Smash sixty four. If it makes I mean, you it feel any actually, better. it seems to be running pretty okay. Holy shit, dude! We I'm about to start. Hell running yeah! Around. I have a switch light that I use now to do that stuff with. I uh, got it modded. Because... 
No, it just plays all that games. Now. Oh yeah, it dude, plays. this is this is seamless. Oh, dude, that sounds fucking awesome. I like that. That awesome. That's pause. <laughs> it's it wasn't even that expensive. Like I think it was Hell like yeah. eighty bucks or something. Dude. Let's fucking learn how to speedrun Mario on the handheld device <laughs> on the oh, trip man. down to Indy. Oh, we something just else. Get down there and <laughs> something else that's really nice about uh, that I was thinking about using this handheld system for is that it has a micro HDMI out, just right on the Ooh. top, oh, so I can really? plug it into my capture card if I wanted to. Is it USB C for charging or micro? USB C charging, baby. Ooh. I wouldn't buy it if it was micro. I'm That's I'm done buying point. micro B. It's an obsolete technology at this point. Yes. We've had yeah, we've true. had USB C since uh, like 2015. 2016. Oh, I was gonna say at least 2016. It was on the it was on the Google Pixel uh, 5X, which released in actually I think that one released in. Yeah, I think that one was 2015. So every oh, yeah. every Google phone since 2015 has had it. Fuck yeah, let's go USB-C. Fuck Apple. Tanner <laughs> can't out here defend it. No, that's the funny thing is that Apple uses USB-C. Oh yeah, except for the iPhone. <laughs> except for on their phones and the AirPods. Literally. But they'll do a USB C to Lightning. Yeah, dude, that's the strangest nice shit to me. Yeah, the USB C on the other side. So yeah, that's the stupid. weirdest shit to me. And this they is should, this is something like else is ones. that when they started giving you that cable, the USB C to Lightning cable, they also stopped including the charger in the box <laughs> and headphones, like the too, brick. Yeah, no headphones either. Oh, they've done that since the eight, seven or eight. Oh, uh, the 7, I think, still had headphones, but they had the lightning one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Bunch of peaches. Whenever they took away the headphone jack and those motherfuckers still bought it, I knew it was over for humanity. Yep. Something I love having is less um, features to my phone. Well, I'm saying, dude, who the fuck... Also, you have a shitty app store. You can't even play Fortnite anymore. Come on, we no, can they can the now. Game they can now oh. through, if they if they oh, go they through their back. browser. <laughs> they have oh. to use their browser and then do a cloud gaming <laughs> service. That's oh ass God. cheeks. <laughs> you have to be on some real fucking copium shit to do that. <laughs> yeah. God damn though. <clears throat> oh, I've been uh, watching a bunch of new anime. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I just finished up season one of High Q. Uh, really fucking good. Uh, it's a sports anime about volleyball and shit. Made me almost cry. Uh, the I love that shit. Still gonna find time to watch that food one. No, oh, Food Wars is pretty good. That one I've always heard is pretty funny. It is. They stick a gun in the food pretty early. <laughs> God. Yes, sir. You can't go wrong with a nice gun, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I do know what you're saying, my guy. I got you. I'm picking up yes, what you're sir. putting down. We are American, you know. Our favorite pastimes are school shootings and NASCAR, baby. Yeah. <laughs> then drinking some bush like, you know how it be drinking You're that good. bush. Yes, sir. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, man. I can't believe some people. Be sucking dick for free. For free, dude. It's unreal. It's like how 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 you expect I how you gonna even... make profit? Come how, on, man. How 
you get some people that are willing to do that for free and other people charge thousands for it dude it's wild true the the world we live in is crazy huh Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) that's why i think we should bring back tutorial combat we gotta straighten out the people people think they're too safe but if you had to be chosen once a month to go fight someone else to the death in front of a crowd of people you know you might start working out a bit. Yeah. I think, and plus, I, I think that would be kind of fun. <laughs> like, honestly. That's what I'm saying. I'd sign up. Pull me <laughs> in, coach. <laughs> can we choose to get weapons or something? Like, can you choose to fight a lion? Or some, <laughs> do you think you guys could fuck up, like, a tiger or some shit? If I have weapons? Yeah. Yeah. Like I, really? I would get, I would definitely get, I would definitely get fucked up as well. But I would, I would kill it. Hell yeah! Nah, <laughs> same. I, I also think I'd take another person, with or without the weapons. Like we're on oh, a chariot I'd, race or some shit. I definitely wouldn't if it was hand to hand combat. Ah, oh, true. That would be shitty. You just grab the sand beneath you and just throw it ah, up. Pack of sand. <laughs> Hell yeah. Good. That would be a fun time. I think we should just make the Hunger Games a reality. That would be fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah. A volunteer like, let, tribute. I would love it. it would let, like, you know, like the rednecks and shit, like, you know, use their advantage out in the wilderness. We start mm. p- picking them off. And, you know, you get to have the fun experience of, you know, camping with the threat of always danger. Yeah. You know, you can't go <laughs> wrong with that. I, I love the imminent threat of danger. That's what I'm saying, dude. It makes you, you know, you can't live without it. That's all I'm saying. (laughs) Always. You know, I always be on that danger shit. (laughs) Fucking cock. Cock eating ass. (laughs) Yes, sir. Oh, dude. Did I tell you guys I'm going to a, a tournament down in Ohio that's hosted in a subway? Yeah, you did last week, I think. I remember oh, you telling yeah. me. I didn't. I don't think it was on the podcast though. Hell yeah! Oh, yeah, know. I'm going to a subway tournament. Uh, it's down in Ohio. <laughs> it's a subway. <laughs> or, Dude, <laughs> I already have the I- sponsored by Subway. Eat fresh. I already have the idea for the fucking uh, thing. I'm gonna post on my Snapchat. You know, drove a lo- drove twelve hours for some motherfucking subway dog. Hell oh, yeah, yeah, boy! <laughs> it's just me walking into a bunch of motherfuckers gaming. <laughs> Yo, where the sandwiches at, dog? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm here to pick up a sandwich for a uh, young left. <laughs> yeah, can I get a motherfucking party sub, please? <laughs> Make that a deluxe. Mmm, true. And a cookie tray. You know, I'm hungry. (laughs) You can't end a good meal without a cookie. That's what I... I Dude, especially a Subway cookie. They're kind of... Their cookies are kind of banging. Mm-hmm. I agree. KFCs tend to be pretty good, too, and I don't know why. I don't don't like KFCs. I've never had a KFC cookie. I think they're mid at best, but I'm just not a fan. But I'm also not a fan of, like, in general, like, the softer cookie. I think a nice hard cookie is my shit. But that's where Subway is contrast, because they're pretty soft. Oh, I, I like, uh, it, for me, it, it varies. Sometimes, though, 
when you get it like a nice nice crunch on the outside and it's soft on the inside well, mm. ideal yes right mm. but sometimes we just gotta buy a pack of chips ahoy and you know that's all right <laughs> I think if I had if I had to choose though, you know, hard. Yeah, or what's soft, your cookie choice? Yeah, yeah. choose soft. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think I I think I'd go like a like a like a a fifty five forty five split soft cookie. Mm-hmm. Okay, dude, what's uh your guys' favorite cookies uh, while we're on this? But. Brad, Ooh. what about you? You a soft or hard so, cookie man? I don't mind a good hard one, but but it has to be like fresh out the oven when they're nice and gooey too on the inside. Like that's it's pure prime. Otherwise, really? if it's been for uh, otherwise if it's been a bit, I don't mind a little bit of soft. Okay, I like that yeah. crispy crunchiness. Yeah, fuck yeah. All right, especially with some oh. milk. Hell yeah. Oh, dude, you gotta have milk. Like, if you don't have the fucking a glass of milk to go with the cookies, it's kind of fucked up. Have you ever, like, grabbed cookies, like, bought them, and then, like, not realized you're out of milk at home, so you already fucking drove home and didn't get any milk? Have you ever, uh, poured a bowl of milk? <laughs> yeah, and then pour my cereal into it. Yeah, that's the best way to do it. It's to prevent the fucking cereal from getting soggy. I'm you smart, must. dude. You ever pour a bowl of cereal and then realize you don't have any milk? Yeah. Yes, you ever do that and then realize the milk's expired? Like you start pouring it? Dude. <laughs> you know the nastiest shit ever that I've done? <laughs> there was what? a time. There was a t- so my um there was a time when my sister's room was downstairs at my dad's house my dad's current house. Um and we would uh we it was during the summer. And during the summer, we would just sort of, you know, do our own thing. There's no school. We had a, you know, unlimited pass to the the public pool. And uh, we had our bicycles to get anywhere we needed to go. So, you know, it's pretty much we do whatever we want. And um, oh, yeah. one, decided, one time we decided to uh, have cereal down in my, in my sister's room. And we played Pokemon. And then... Um, <clears throat> um a few uh fast forward a few like i don't know like what this it was is going what it was was <laughs> we we wanted we got hungry at night and we didn't want to make something that would be loud so we poured a bowl of cereal but then we didn't eat all of it or something so we left the we had the bowl of milk we left it out in the in the room and oh, no. like in the windowsill. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, and, you did not. And, then, and then we didn't wake up until like one or two o'clock the next day. In oh, the, it's been in, soaking since six a.m. It's just been <laughs> boiling in the summer. <laughs> That's some motherfucking <laughs> yogurt by that point, dog. It you was disgusting. It was so bad. Because that's exactly what it was. It was like a, a mushy shit. It was like cottage cheese, almost. <laughs> fucking rancid, dude. <laughs> I like that your first thought though is that you don't check it. You just immediately go for the fucking bite, dog. You just like No, I didn't go for a bite. No. <laughs> oh, okay, thank fucking God. I, I poked it with the spoon. <laughs> just like, oh, this man's just like, oh yeah, and then I ate it, you know? <laughs> Bro. Oh I'm gonna finish the whole <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it there. <laughs> the hell yeah. Dude, I've done some fucking gross shit. 
<laughs> in my lifetime. Yeah. I remember one time for like a middle school trip, uh, we went out to a place that had like, uh, like, like spring water, like you know that fucking came out. But I didn't. I forgot that to bring a bottle earlier with me that day. And oh. but luckily I was on the bus. You know, and there was a <laughs> trash can in the back. Uh, I found a Gatorade bottle. <laughs> oh. I, I took it, dude. I filled that bitch up. You know, washed it out a couple of times. And, you know, we, we were being chilling. Topped her <laughs> off. I, like, chugged one before and then it's, like, filled her back up and then went back on the bus. <laughs> Fucked up. <laughs> Uh, oh there was a there was another time <laughs> when uh my uh my one of our one of my friends and I were hanging out and we were playing GTA literally all night and uh Aww. like we didn't we were so afraid of waking up the parents that we didn't even want to flush the toilet to make a noise. Oh, cool. it has a fucking nasty. No, no, it's worse. Bro, it's worse than no. that. You guys it started was... pissing in bottles, huh? <laughs> yeah, I've been that's... there. <laughs> Hell yeah, <laughs> dude, you had... aren't a real gamer had... unless you piss in a bottle. Once. <laughs> we had a collection of bottles of piss oh, no. that we had to wait until the oh, morning. <laughs> There was like five bottles by the by like seven o'clock in the morning when when it was you know time for us to pour them into the toilet and flush it. <laughs> God, we are disgusting human beings. <laughs> Though uh, I remember one time, <laughs> one time. Uh, yeah, I I bought like. Uh, I I had just gotten done like going to uh, a refing thing down in Madison. Like I was getting my refing license for hockey. I was gonna start making some money on the side every <clears> weekend. <throat> and as a reward or whatever, you know, I, I got some quick trip or whatever. I got a couple burgers. You know, I was big chilling. And like as I'm walking out the store or whatever, right. <laughs> This gross ass parking lot. I'm just walking across my burger drops. <laughs> no. And I, no. I pick that bitch up right away and just immediately start eating it again. <laughs> I'm a fucking monster. No. The fact that I haven't died. No. no. <laughs> Are we having a contest over who has, who's done the nastiest Dude. thing right now? No. I, I think, think this so. is just content. We can keep <laughs> like let's keep all it right, going. Right. This is so, funny. <laughs> so there was a time when I was in like first or second grade, right? You remember the um the suckers that you would get from the dentist that were so like cheap that it was literally just like a sucker and then like a piece of string that was just like looped down and then back into the sucker, and that was your handle. No, because I went to a good dentist. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. Well, <laughs> uh, um, yeah, I know what you're talking about. So <laughs> yeah, I was, yeah, yeah. I was fucking nasty, and I would, I would take the sucker, lick it, and then dip it into sand, and then eat it. <laughs> All right. Back in elementary school. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember why I did this. Or, like... what For whatever fucking reason, I just spent a lot of time outside. Like, I was just, like, either gaming a lot. Or, like... You know, just I just was outside a lot. And so... <laughs> do you know those little, like, white, like, lily flowers or whatever? The little fucking... The little white ones. Mm -hmm. They'd pop up all over the place where I grew up. And I grew up in like a pretty shitty trailer park or whatever. 
And I would just be walking around with my friends or whatever, and I'd just be, like, fucking eating them and shit, just popping them off, grabbing a handful of them <laughs> and just popping them in my mouth and shit, just eating them. <laughs> going up. Yes, sir. Nice little snack. <laughs> yes, sir. Little nature snack. That's what I'm saying. What about you, Brad? You do any nasty shit? <laughs> Not that I can really recall, to be honest. No. There was one time in South Dakota. Yeah. Oh. What happened in South Dakota? We ain't talking about that. that. All right. It's a what happened in South Dakota kind of situation. (laughs) Yeah. What happened in South Dakota? Dakota. (laughs) I've been there. (laughs) You guys ever drink your own piss? Yeah. (laughs) One time, out of curiosity. Dude, I did it at a playground. <laughs> what? It was my childhood playground. Yeah, me and my <laughs> friends or whatever. We were all just like, we just finished off at Mountain Dew, and like, I really had to piss. And I thought it would have been funny if I pissed into the bottle or whatever. And that's how it just dared me to drink it. And I was not, I wasn't a bitch back in those days. And that's so why I would just do it, whatever anyone <laughs> told me. <laughs> Without thinking, I saw I just tasted. I drank a good amount of my piss. <laughs> mine was uh, <laughs> mine was You're pretty funny. Lad. I've had I had two separate <laughs> two occasions. <laughs> I'm a fuck. I've <laughs> drank it a couple one, one other time as well. One but... was accidental, and the other one was not of my choice. <laughs> like not entirely not of, of my choice. choice. So, <laughs> so. Um, the first one, I, uh, I, I really had to go, like, it was one of the times where I was like, I was like dancing as I was running to the bathroom to go to the bathroom. I pull my pants down and I go to start pissing and my dick is stuck to my stomach with like sweat or some shit. (laughs) So it's pointed up and I piss and it hits the roof of my mouth perfectly. And I ended up, you know, drinking my own piss. That's fucking awesome, man. The other what about time, the second time, the other time, <laughs> I pissed into a bottle, and then someone was like, "Ha ha, how dare you to drink that?" And I was like, "Ha ha," I I like held it up like this, and then someone like my I think it was my sister walked up and hit it up like that even further, so I ended up <laughs> dipping it and actually pouring it into my mouth. Hell yeah! I can't go wrong with a little piss. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I think that's a good spot to end this week you've heard a lot of Drinking fucked up piss. shit it yes is. sir and if you want to hear more fucked up stories about our lives p- trust me we have plenty <laughs> oh yeah Make and sure something to- else if you're um, actually I'll, no, I'll talk with I'll talk with the people off, off camera for that all right, all right. <laughs> Little teaser for you guys, yeah. but uh, make sure to leave a nice comment and a subscription if you guys have ever done anything fucked up, and leave a like down below. Mm-hmm. It's really hoggers. Bye bye, y'all. See ya. Bye.